Now, this button here, I'm telling you, if you drive a tractor for a long period of time and you are constantly shifting gears, going down the road, going from field to road, field to road, high speed to slow speed, this button is going to be your best friend. What's up, guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now, we are going to be talking, like I just said, about the D-clutch button here on our Auto Quad 2020 transmission. Now, this is a transmission that is in this 6R145. This is a 2023 model. So as of 2024, this 2020 auto quad is no longer going to be in these machines but this does have the button that we are going to be focusing on which is going to be our d clutch button so this button is going to help you make your life a whole lot easier make sure that your left leg that you would normally use if you are used to driving an older machine or one that does not have this button whenever you are changing ranges on your transmission not gears but whenever you are changing ranges from your abc and D. This button will allow you to just push the button here on the handle and go in and change those ranges without having to use your actual foot clutch. The next goal is, is to show you how to drive one of these machines using this D-clutch button. Now when I'm first starting out, I am going to have my foot on the clutch and on the brake to initially take this machine out of park. So we are going to get it into neutral and once we have it there, we are in complete neutral. So there if I let off of the brake here, the machine is going to start to roll a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and put this over here into our a gear go into a and then i am already in the number one gear whenever we go into a and as you can see i have my foot on the clutch and we're starting to roll so i am just going to go ahead and slowly let off of my foot clutch over here put us into forward and we are just going to start to creep slowly forward here in a one and then next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and raise my throttle up over here just like this and i'm in a one now on this transmission our gear shift to be able to go through our five gears or through our four gears within our five ranges is actually going to be right here so i'm going to hit that that is going to move us up to gear two that is our up button hit it again that moves us up to gear three now if i wanted to go ahead and change ranges right here all i'm gonna have to do is push in my d clutch button pull this back let off and then we are going to take off just like that so now if i wanted to clutch again and go up into c i could do that we're going to take off you can see the little bit of power there that we were giving off down into c then if i wanted to go back and slow back down into b i can do that all from right here on the gear shift rather than having to use my left leg over here to be able to change those ranges now i can tell you from experience from driving older machines a lot older than this one that does not have all this fancy technology up here on the gear shift that whenever you are having to use that left leg especially when we're talking about doing hay work or for cleaning out pins or just doing a lot of back and forth and we're having to change gears use the clutch change gears use the clutch it can make for a really tiring work environment so this is going to be huge if you are one of those guys that is getting into one of these machines to do that type of work knowing that you can do all of your gear changing right here on one handle being able to rest that on the handle rest your arm here on the armrest then all you have to do is over with your left hand change from forward to reverse but this can be a scary concept it'd be hard to trust this little button to take place of my foot clutch here so just know that if you ever do get nervous whenever you're in one of these and you're trying to get used to it it is totally okay to still foot clutch this machine to change those ranges but i'm telling you once you get used to using that d clutch button and getting comfortable with that it will be an absolute lifesaver on these machines so guys i hope this video helped you out i hope that maybe this is something you hadn't necessarily seen before or maybe even this is something that you've had on your machine that you were not told about whenever you bought it and you have been foot clutching the whole time and now you know that this little button here can take the place of that 
maybe I just made your day. So hopefully one of those scenarios is true. Hopefully you like this video. If you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you are looking for more information like this or just more videos over John Deere equipment in general, make sure to go and check out the rest of the channel. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.